fuck is a whiskey seltzer? Places. Um, set. Whiskey seltzer, best director in the world, Blake Smith. Directing, my initial thoughts. I'm the greatest director of all time. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know, I was kind of walking into a, a fucking uh, a firing squad. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't know what the hell I was in for. Like, it's way harder than you ever think it will be. And no matter how much prep you do, you always, always, always have to end up having to come up with plan B, C, D, E, F, G before you're at Z and then you want to rip your hair out. The best part about being on a movie set, using one of these. Camera. <laughs> Whiskey seltzer, scene four, take three, roll two. And action. Let's say going in, I was, I was nervous because this is like really my first time doing something this big. Um, as far as uh, camera work and just working with my director and he's really teaching me how to improve and get better and sitting back and watching him. Hello, it's pretty much been a question about God. Uh, the biggest thing about controlling the audio to me is just um, just the different changes. I mean, we did some some pretty cool tracker shots. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, if you can't control something, just some sort, then learn. You know, because you're gonna be able to use it and regurgitate it later on. Guarantee. You're either gonna fuck the duck or you're gonna hold it. And we got out on time. We're three minutes early. Just decided to reshoot it and do it a different way. And it came out really good. It had its ups and downs, but once we got to take two and take three. I don't regret what I tried to do the first day because I am a perpetual risk taker. I like taking risks. So we're I had a great assistant director, uh, Nyla Love, who uh, is one of the actors in the movie, and she also has extensive acting background, so it was kind of a very good, you know, partnership having her on set because she just kind of took care of the actors and making sure that they were ready whenever the camera was rolling. I enjoyed being first AD um, just because I just, you know, I had the directing experience, so it allows me to kind of be the second brain for the director. Also, really enjoyed acting and just creating in front of the camera. What are you thinking about, Michael? I try my best to create a person who has her shit together at all times and was definitely the right hand to Michael Lee Jason. It was so fun, I'm telling you, it was just easy to like, what, how can you take this line or take this scene and just like up the Andy, up the, the craziness, up the comedy a, a little bit. And so that was my, my goal. And you just got to explore and see who was gonna do what crazy thing next. And so yeah, I love being the chick in the flick. <laughs> just fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. One. Scene lab, take one. I was a camera operator and I also played Carter. I'm doing the most important job. He's fucking on. Making him. sure the camera doesn't fall over. My favorite memory was actually when I was in character yes, right. and I got to make other people break character across the table when we were filming. It was so fun. I mean, the scene we just shot, that yeah, was a blast. To, today. Today, has been today the was most fun. the fun. <laughs> Ugh. We should come back tomorrow and shoot more. Whiskey but. seltzer. It'll make you fuck your girlfriend. It'll make you want to shit. What? I'm pretty sure you said whiskey seltzer. I'm gay <laughs> on a couple of them. Keeping the actors on their marks, on their their lines. Not stepping on toes is a big one. Um, but overall, it's just a super fun process. It's awesome to just be on the set. I did my research before I would even do the auditions to where 
when people would walk in for the audition, I already pretty much knew I was gonna cast them. I was just making sure. And I'm, I'm just being realistic with you. This, he wants to get the job done, and he doesn't lose really his temper like his uh, so friend. Uh, yeah, go, fucking go. You'll come crying back. You always fucking do. Fuck you. Just like that ex-girlfriend you fucking had. You son of a bitch. Turn around, you can't know me. You got the nuggets. Well, he is high, so that was I gotta hide him. I'm gonna see how it goes. Hopefully, It's the new seltzer, Jake, that's hitting the bucket next month. So, my name is Samson, and I am the awesome second person. in command for Mr. Shoot. Foley. What the hell is my apple juice? I don't know, sir. I liked it, bro. It was sort of like a, hmm, I guess, Samuel Ice Cube in one, you can say. I hope I gave him what they was needing. This is really oh. Oh. Wow. Pretty excited to come out and have done this. This is uh, new for me, and I'm really excited to see what I get to do on the camera. Uh, my favorite scene that, you know, going from script to screen ended up being shots between uh, Molly played by uh, Nye, and then Michael Lee Jansen played by Paxson. It's going back and forth, back and forth, and he's just telling this weird story about this cat that he used to own. Careful where you're moving. The lighting in here is perfect, and if we nudge anything, I might cry. Shot in that conference room, it was uh, very hard to block and very hard to hate. Like it took between the two days, uh, probably took over 14 hours worth of having to rig lights and lighting on my own to make that shit work. So I probably would have just come up with a, it, it, if you know anything about filmmaking, you learn very quick that the more space you have, the better off you are. And when you're very in a very confined space, it's a pain in the ass to get shots and light stuff. It's called cinematic lighting. Even I knew that moron. If one person can, can fucking laugh at a joke and be like, all right, fucking maybe life isn't that bad, I think, I think I did my job as a writer and director. How the hell did that happen? Well, peasants, it's been a journey. Don't stop believing with open arms. I'm a better filmmaker is doing it and actually shooting a film. And I've heard that so many times from great directors that, you know, their biggest advice is just make your movie. Just make your first movie. It may be a piece of shit, but just do it. And that's the only way you're gonna learn.